Live, Governor Pritzker is facing new questions on how much distance he's put between the governor's mansion and his own personal bank account. WGN political reporter Taman Bradley is here with more on the latest attacks from the campaign trail. Taman. Mike and Ray, good evening. Governor J.B. Pritzker is worth $3.6 billion. To avoid conflicts of interest, before he became governor, Pritzker turned over his holdings to Northern Trust to make all decisions about his investments. It's called a blind trust. But a new report highlights possible problems with the blind trust arrangement. Today, during a stop at Navy Pier, Governor Pritzker faced questions about his blind trust purchasing stock in a contractor that does business with the state. I am not involved in making any investment decisions. At issue, a report by the Better Government Association detailing Pritzker's trust's purchase of stock in Centene, a health insurance company. BGA reports that in the first half of 2021 alone, Centene collected more than $2.6 billion from state Medicaid contracts. An act Actions taken by the Pritzker administration benefit at Centene. I've divorced myself entirely from making investments, knowing anything about the investments, the amounts of investments, etc. Even though the Centene connection has come to light, the governor defends his blind trust arrangement. Centene had a contract with the state of Illinois before I became governor. It was the prior governor that signed that contract. That contract went into place before I got into office. Uh, and uh, so there's no, you know, there's just no relationship in any way. Asked when he learned that his blind trust invests in Centene, the governor said this. I only learned that literally because a reporter called uh, last week from BGA. But every year, the governor signs a statement of economic interest. Last May, Centene was listed among Pritzker's blind trust investments. By law, I have to sign a statement of economic interest. I think that's a terrific thing. The state should keep that in place. I sign that every year. There are no values associated with any of the items on that. Uh, I get it. I go to the signature page and I sign it every single year. Good afternoon, everyone. It's an election year, and GOP candidate for governor Richard Irvin quickly seized on the BGA story. His spokeswoman said in a statement, it is baffling that Governor Pritzker wants voters to believe he knew nothing about the Centene investment, despite signing the very document listing the company and attesting under penalty of perjury that he had examined the document and that it was correct. Out to Centene for comment, and we've not heard back. Mike and Ray? All right, thank you, Jamon.